Hi guys, so I quickly hopped on to speak about something which is really, really important right now in the community and as an energy worker. So I'm going to wait for some of you to come on. Um, this is literally an emergency live that I'm doing because like this is information that I need to relay to the collective and I need to actually like warn people about it, um, obviously without instilling any fear or any lower vibrational frequency emotion. So what is happening right now in the community of energy workers is that there is people that are going around um, self-proclaiming themselves energy workers and healers and whatnot without the basis, without the understanding, without the knowledge of what it entails to have a channel and they are given these abilities and they open other people's channels. People who have no idea what they're doing um, and are now being opened and blown open. Um, and <laughs> with all their traumas, their distortions and whatnot are being sent off to work on other people and sending and attaching and latching onto them, their entities, their traumas and whatever it is. The amount of people that are riddled with entities and attachment that I have to decord is ridiculous. And this isn't the client's fault. This isn't the people's fault. You're going to someone for a service. If the energy worker isn't working in integrity, if they have no idea what they're doing, if they're not gridding, if they're not shielding, if their channel is distorted, they're going to pass that distortion onto you. They're going to open you up like a you know, like a, like a balloon that explodes. And now you find yourself with this open channel of information, but you have no idea how to use it and how to deal with it. And now entities are latching onto you because now you're a beacon of light because, you know, you, you've now got that channel open. So it comes down to the individual's ego and integrity of be, oh, I want to channel, open me up. You shouldn't, because this is what happens. Everyone wants to channel, you know, and unfortunately people don't know. They don't get taught. Um, they don't understand this is, you know, that it needs to be done in specific. This is why I teach a specific masterclass on channeling so that you can do it in a safe way that doesn't affect you and others. Like there are so many people that are coming to me that I have to decord and detach from that are riddled with entities, guys, riddled with entities who were fine before. They go to these group sessions. I'm not like going to mention any names, but they go to these people who have no idea what they're doing. They're actually opening reptilian portals. And these, these, I cannot even describe them. These kind of like these cords of low vibrational frequency energies are coming through um, and latching onto these, these humans who are then coming to me with like, you know, they're hearing voices, things are happening. Um, uh, all of a sudden they're irritated all the time. They're angry. They don't feel like themselves anymore. They're getting told things to do and whatnot. This shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening. You should be able to channel and it, it's a beautiful experience. If done properly, it's kind of like all these Kundalini trainings that they go and they activate all these people in Kundalini and then all of a sudden they're out of control. They cannot control their body anymore. They start convulsing. They start shaking and it's okay like to release a bit here and there. But um, it, it goes to the extent where if you're not capable and you don't have the knowledge and the understanding of self and of what it is that you're doing, you're going to create more damage. You're going to create more distortion. You're going to create more work for people like me. <laughs> That's literally, um, yeah, exactly. Like someone said, it's it's irresponsible. It lacks an integrity. A lot of people are doing it for money, or they're like, oh, they or they don't know. They're not aware. They themselves haven't worked through their own traumas. So even if their channel is open, what they're channeling through comes distorted, and they're not able to separate their human from their actual channel. By separation, I mean to fully integrate it. Okay, so whatever they're doing is coming through their own ego, and the same on the other side. The people who are receiving, it's not their fault. It is kind of like to an extent, but. The amount of people um, that are coming to me that have been latched onto, attached, distorted, is, 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 is really high, guys. So this is my call to you as an individual. If you're seeing 
someone doing things like this, please call them out or detach yourself or shield yourself. If you're in a group where there's like lots of people channeling and you're not sure what's coming through, leave. I promise you, I promise you, it's going to be better for you if you do that than staying in it and then having to come to me, spending, you know, a certain amount of money to then, uh, because I need to help you and it can't take one session. It's going to take a while to release whatever it is that needs to be released. You'd rather be like, okay, like, I don't care for the whatever money I paid for that session. I'd rather actually get out. It's kind of like the spiritual hygiene concept, um, you know, so... Uh, yeah, it's it's not because you can channel and your channel's open that then you can go around and start working on people. Like, that's not how it works. Yes, eventually you'll be able to first do the work on yourself and understand yourself and sit with yourself um, and kind of like feel into it. Is this in alignment with my heart center? Is this how I feel? Is this what? If it feels off, guys, it's going to be off. Like it's, it's off, you know, if you feel like it's off, it's off. If it doesn't feel in alignment with your heart center, then it's off. So it's kind of like, I'm going to make a written post about this as well. Like this is a huge issue right now. It's always been a big issue, but it's getting bigger now. Um, just because, you know, as we move forward into kind of like the battle for the souls, the other side is obviously going to keep on pushing. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you for all your beautiful comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, even implants, things like that can come through. And guys, be careful. Be careful of energy workers who tell you huge stories. Oh, you were this, this, that, and that, and you did that, that. Yes, it can happen. It's, I'm not saying that it's not, but release the attachment to the story. It doesn't matter. What matters is the moment. It's the now. It's what's happening in the now. In every now, you can rebirth. In every now, you can choose. It doesn't matter if your great aunt or uncle um, was in the space when he did this thing and he, you know, abused his power or whatever, whatever story comes up or you were a reptilian being who attacked people. So now you're doomed to sadness. No, you can change that. You can hop into a timeline where all of that isn't affecting you, where all of that could be a memory or a completely different timeline. So it's about reclaiming your power. Beware of energy workers that tell you that you need them. You don't need anyone. You don't, you don't even need me. You don't need anyone or anything. Yes, if you come to me, I'll help you. I don't want you to be dependent on me. I want to teach you. This is why I do my six-week program. I teach people to then go off and do what I do on other people because that is what's needed. Anyone who hooks you, oh, you need to come back. You have to come back. Come back again to me. Um, I need to do more work on you. No. No. You can say it, listen, like this is, but those of you who've worked with me know, like if I ever say that you need more work, I'll say to you, listen, take your time, think about it. You don't have to necessarily come back to me. It would benefit you, but you're also okay without me, okay? So that's the first thing that you need to look out. Someone who, and who puts themselves above you, like, oh, I can do this for you. Let me do it for you. I've seen that in the astral space. I've had colleagues see people in the astral space, literally throw them away to do the work for them. No, no. You are just as powerful as that energy worker. Literally, you can do it yourself. But please, guys, don't give your power away. This is also what it comes down to. Don't give your power away. Yeah, it happens a lot in yoga and ashrams. It does. It does happen a lot in ashrams because there's a lot of people coming and going. But then again, you're not going there to, like you're going there to do yoga and healing. That's maybe part of your lesson and, and whatnot, whatever. If you're going to someone who's, specifically opening like you don't see me telling people yes come here i'm going to open your channel no no i need to see your system i need to do some work on you i need to see if it's okay if your channel is already open then i can work with you on it i'm not going to open your channel out of the blue and then you've got no idea what's coming through you've got no idea what you're doing you have no idea how to handle it you might still have trauma on your masculine side or you might still have ancestral things that you're dealing with you might have abuse whatever it is you might be someone who takes drugs and drinks alcohol. Now I've gone and opened your channel. What are you going to be channeling? No, guys. Do you know what I mean? It's dangerous. So anyone who has these sessions, oh, come here. We're all going to, you know, make you into an energy worker in one hour. No. No, guys. No. That's not how it works. Yeah. That's not how it works. 
No, guys, I don't try to call you. I don't offer readings and DMs. Please blog and report. It's like people impersonating me. It's not me. If you if you read the Instagram handle, it's going to be a different one. So no, I don't call you. No, I don't think saying sorry is giving away your power because I think saying sorry is actually okay. If you're saying sorry too much, then yeah, because you're subconsciously feeling like you're in the wrong. But if you've done something wrong and you apologize, then it's okay. That's actually very powerful. I'm so sorry, Laura, that you had to go through that. And I'm grateful that you've gotten out of it. Yeah. So please, guys, don't give your power away. Be wary of anyone that gives you quick fixes or, you know, because I'm seeing it so much. And there are specific people who are doing it. I'm not going to make any names, but there's a lot of energies that are being brought through that aren't for the highest alignment. And yeah, follow your heart. Um, stay centered, stay grounded, stay balanced. And don't give in to fear. Remember you sovereign being. Do my declaration of sovereignty from my website. That's going to help you if you feel like you've got anything in your system. You can listen to channels. You can listen to other people. That's okay. Um, it's okay if you see things as well. It's fine. It's when you are actively being open or opening and you're working on other people and you don't know what's in your system and you haven't done the work. And I'm not here to decide if you have done the work or not. Like it's always, you know, ongoing in process, but you get to a point where your baseline frequency is of a certain vibration that things can't even come near you or attack you. That's where you want to be. If you're doing a session with someone and they say, oh, there's beings coming, attacking me. Wait, I need to clear them. No, no. If they're working in high realms, they're not going to get attacked when they're working on you. They might be clearing energies from you. That's okay. But them specifically being attacked. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. there's holes in the aura there's distortion there's lacks there isn't gridding properly in, in, in place okay same thing if you're having like a like to me sometimes it happens that i'll have curious beings that will come in and watch if i'm doing like workshops or lives or things like that that's okay but if they're doing work on you and all of a sudden they're like sorry i'm getting attacked let me get this thing off me huh? no no guys that's not you don't, that shouldn't be happening. You should be gridded, solid. And if you're working on anyone, you shouldn't be in the vulnerable space where anyone attacks you. That's why I work in a pyramid as well. So it's really, 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 really important. So look out for things like that. Shield, yes, shield out of love, never out of fear. Okay, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for being here. So I had to say that. I'll make a written post about it as well. Um yeah, it's 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 a big thing. I'll do I'll do a um a proper live. I'll actually have a friend of mine on and we'll speak about it. Like I just spoke to her earlier and yeah. So thank you guys. I wish you all a beautiful Wednesday um, and I'll speak to you guys soon. I'll probably be live again this week. We'll see maybe next week. But thank you all, everyone. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you from my heart to yours. Please stay in your power. Please be mindful. And yeah, and then just remember you're your own sovereign being and you're better and stronger than anything else. Okay. 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 I love you guys. No, sorry, I'm just, doctor here is getting blocked. I can't believe these people even try to like post weird doctor medicine in my lives. It's like, really? <laughs> really? Like, how desperate can you be? Um. So, so yeah. And also, guys, if you want to do some real collective work in a really high, high vibration, um, you can take my workshop for the 0404, which is um, in April. Uh, and we will be working on activating the Metatronic Grid with the four elements, Earth, Wind, Fire, and Water, the, the Archangelic Collective, and the four corners of the Earth. And then my collective healing event is also up for $12, 45 minutes of channeled light language. 
And yeah, all my services are still available. I'm currently sitting on about like six week waiting time for new clients for energy work. I will be taking a little bit of time off in April. So if you do want to see me before then, I suggest you book within the next week or two. Because probably around March, if you book then, I'll probably only be able to see you in May. So just so you know, okay. I love you guys. I see you. I appreciate you from my heart to yours. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for this beautiful community. I love you. Bye.